After the success of the first two National Treasure films, fans have been begging Disney for over a decade now to give them a National Treasure 3 starring Nicolas Cage. They wanted to see Nick Cage back out there in the leading role, discovering something crazy that may have happened in American history. And of course, Disney's so great at listening to their fan base, they finally are giving us a new National Treasure series. Not starring Nicolas Cage and not really talking about anything probably related to American history as most people know it, but instead, they decided that they wanted to focus on giving us a female lead, a female villain, talking about women in history. And it's all coming from the perspective of an illegal immigrant. I wish I was kidding, but this is not a joke. This is actually what Disney's doing because this is Disney and they don't give a shit about what their audience wants. Disney provides first look at their illegal immigrant version of National Treasure, starring actress hints illegal immigration, a prevalent theme in the show. Can't wait. Isn't that going to be exciting? And before we even get into the article where they tell us themselves that from the very beginning, this had nothing to do with honoring the legacy of these films. It had nothing to do with Nicolas Cage. It was all about diversity and female empowerment. Let's see how people reacted to this teaser. Now, it's not very long. It's only 17 seconds. As you can see, people are already making their voices heard. 1.8 thousand upvotes to 11 thousand downvotes. But let's watch it here. Get it? It's a woman. It's a woman now. Aren't you surprised? Wow. National Treasure, Edge of History, streaming soon on Disney+. Plus. Look at all the comments. This is the comment section. It ain't National Treasure without Nicolas Cage. I hope it's a setup for a third movie with Cage. It's not. I know Nicolas Cage possibly not going to make a cameo, but I hope he does. He's the reason why the first two movies were so successful. Oh, come on. You can't make a National Treasure series without the National Treasure itself. Nick Cage is the only reason I'd watch this show. He is a national treasure. I really hope National Treasure Edge History directly sets up National Treasure 3. It doesn't. Nicholas Cage already came out and said that. I think like in March of this year or last year, he said he had National Treasure 3. It's, it's just not going to happen. They wanted to go a different way. They wanted to go this way. The Walt Disney Company featured an all uh, first look at their upcoming National Treasure series that will air on Disney Plus and feature an illegal immigrant as the main protagonist. The official description of the series, as provided by Disney, says, The series focuses on a young heroine, Jess, a brilliant and resourceful dreamer who embarks on the adventure of a lifetime to uncover the truth about her family's mysterious past and save a lost Pan-American treasure. Yay! A first look at Pride at San Diego Comic-Con at Ballroom 20, where they showed attendees the new trailer as well as a behind-the-scenes look at the series. During the presentation, Disney attempted to provide legitimacy by saying that Harvey Keitel would be reprising his role as Peter Sadusky in the series. Disney had previously announced Justin Bartha would reprise his role as Riley Poole, Gates' best friend, sidekick, and computer expert. Uh, and, you know, there you have it. I think Riley's probably standing there behind this woman right here, so isn't that fantastic? In the behind-the-scenes video, Bartha would discuss the new TV series. What sets it apart is it's a different world now. Exploring American history was a lot different 20 years ago, and I was a young guy on set, now I'm not. No, it, it wasn't. Exploring American history... American history was not different 20 years ago than it is today. The story you want to tell, that Disney wants to tell, is much different than what they did before. They don't want to talk about the founding fathers. They don't want to talk about the rich history of how this country was founded, people that might be proud to be American. No, no, not in any way, shape, or form. They want to talk about something entirely different. Lisette Oliveira, who plays the illegal immigrant. So when they're saying illegal immigrant in this, they're talking about dreamers. Dreamers were people who were brought here illegally as children. And now they, they ended up getting, hey, you get citizenship, blah, 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 because maybe you weren't responsible for bringing yourself here illegally like this. But that's why they're using the phrase illegal immigrant when referring to someone who's described as a dreamer. 
Uh, she says, Jess is a 22-year-old dreamer. She's tenacious and embarks on this pan-American treasure adventure. In a round table, she further discussed the show. For me, I grew up and that was my national treasure. That was what I saw. I never really thought of it much. I think our show is a little bit more what I experience day to day. I live in Los Angeles, so I'm exposed to so many different types of people that for me, this is my normal. Can't wait. And another, a man who was brought in, a swoon-worthy, struggling musician, comes in and says, I, we, we, we want to hear people from all walks of life. And I think that's really beautiful. The, the showrunners genuinely care about the culture and the story everyone has to tell. I don't think that's lagging in our show. And I'm one completely here for the diversity. And it makes the character so special. The showrunners talk about, you know, how important it was for them to show the idea of immigration because, you know, this person's father was never actually an American citizen. Quote, these are the themes that are really prevalent in our show. I think for me to play a young dreamer who's intelligent and smart and willing to just do her best it's really important for people to see it's a different American experience, especially more different than Ben Gates. It's just different familial ties. Heaven forbid you have someone that has connections to the founding of this country. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Here are what the showrunners say. We were desperate to do something completely new in a sense that we wanted to do female-centric. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we've been talking about with Disney properties for forever. They don't set out to tell a good story. They don't set out to honor what came before. Hey, we wanna take this property that people know, National Treasure, and we want to make it whatever we want to make it. We don't wanna do what it actually is. We wanted to make the property female-centric. We wanted not only our lead to be a woman, we wanted our bad guy, our Sean Bean, our Ed Harris at the time, to be a woman. And we wanted the treasure story to be about women in history as well. We've covered Ben Franklin, the founding fathers. We've done those guys. This time we wanted to go, let's find some interesting female figures from history that we can write, fashion a treasure story around it. So that was really important to us. Well, I think it's safe to say uh, that this is likely already going to be a disaster. Even the 17 second teaser trailer is getting absolutely demolished because guess what? This isn't Nicolas Cage. People wanted to see Nicolas Cage. They wanted National Treasure 3. They wanted to see the character. That's the reason that they care about this franchise. And when you just tell them straight up, no, we're not going to do that. But we are going to give you this thing that you weren't asking for and this thing that you weren't asking for and this thing that you weren't asking for. It's not a surprise that it's getting completely and totally obliterated already, only with 17 seconds of a teaser. Let me know your thoughts on the new National Treasure Edge of History in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.